We're joined today by Dr. Victor Zhao, who is the president of the Institute of Medicine. Greetings. Glad Good you could morning. make it. Yes, thank you. for uh, Glad to be here. Uh, uh, glad to have you. Now, I have a quick question for you. A lot of people out there may not know what the Institute of Medicine is. Yes. Tell them a little bit about what, what, what is it and what does it do? Sure. Uh, we call ourselves the IOM, or okay. Institute of Medicine. Mm -hmm. It's the health arm of the National Academy of Science, which was founded in 1863 by U.S. Congress and Abraham Lincoln as an independent, trusted organization that advised the government on science and uh, important matter of science and medicine. Now, over the years, the academy has become three academies, National Academy of Science, Engineering, and Medicine. IOM is that academy for medicine. So our job is to really become a trusted advisor to the nation. We work with the government. There are many mandates that come from Congress, sure. from White House, from the agencies, and we work with the public. We work with the foundations like Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, many others, and we initiate a lot of important studies. Our job is to take important issues and to say what kind of advice we want to give to government and to public in decision making and policies. Okay, now, now, that, that's a lot of stuff. It I mean, is. You guys do a lot of stuff. <laughs> so how do you see the IOM being involved in the APHA's movement to make the U.S. the healthiest nation in a generation? Well, we have the same goal. Mm -hmm. Our goal is to make the nation the healthiest nation. Mm -hmm. Uh, U.S. the healthiest nation. So in what we do, we have uh, what we call different boards, one of which is population health and public health. Mm -hmm. And uh, Rose Martinez, you know, sure. directs that one, right? Mm -hmm. And so we have under that board a whole number of uh, initiatives or work streams we call roundtables. Mm -hmm. Roundtables convene people together from all different sectors, public health, government, academia, business, to talk about issues that's important to our population health. Mm -hmm. So we have roundtable of population health, roundtable of health literacy, mm -hmm. roundtable of health uh, equity, mm -hmm. roundtable of health, environmental health sciences, and we even work also on tobacco. We in fact have a report working on mm -hmm. what should be the minimum legal age for tobacco. Okay. So, you know, for, for our, Which is very important. Which is a very yeah, important very, issue. Very yes, important yes. Issue. So we, we, what we do is we bring people together and to say, how do we, can we work together? What are the important issues? Mm -hmm. Say, so take for example, the round table on population health, mm -hmm. social determinants of health, mm -hmm, sure. important issue, very education, important. right? Getting people together, community, business, sure. educators together. Mm -hmm. And we also- Multidisciplinary, that's There very, you go, yeah. yeah. And also we work on the idea how to integrate better primary care with public health. Right. We have okay. one of those reports to say, Really, primary care should be closely working with public health it, people exactly, to exactly. improve prevention and the community sure. health. So yeah. things like that. Okay. And I can give you lots of great examples oh, I'm, of what I'm we do. Sure, <laughs> I'm sure. So tell me a little more about the AHA project and why the IOM is involved. Yeah, so this is in fact part of uh, you know our mission, which is improve health of a nation. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've gone, of course, as I mentioned, to be great advisors to the idea that we should be able to help people get off the ground, what I call incubator, mm -hmm. right? Sure. And, the, and this particular project, which was started by my predecessor, mm -hmm. Harvey Feinberg, mm -hmm. uh, brings together the public goods project people mm -hmm. to create this partnership called mm -hmm. Healthy America, mm -hmm. to use communication and media tools to increase awareness and engagement and empowerment of the mm -hmm. individual and the right. public right. in having better choices, pushing for change mm -hmm. in health and health environment. Okay. Well, using the media is so important when we're trying to get oh, to the I youth as well as just the uh, regular go. primary care doc. Exactly. So, so thank you so much for joining us and have a great time at the conference. Well, thank you. All nice right. to talk to you. All right. Thank you.